Well, good morning. I know what you're thinking. That's snow on the ground, Wade. So you've got steel in your truck. But seriously? Yeah, seriously. Got our steel, uh, getting it organized, depending on which pieces go where. Made a stop this morning, finally picked up a second grinder, and got our welder and cords ready to go. Um, the door's closed because I had the heater on, just trying to thaw myself and my tools out before we start the day here. I'm pretty sure it's below freezing again. All right, quick update. We got the first two pieces on. Got them tacked, I'm gonna go inside with my magnets and tack them a little bit more. And take my grinder, clean off some spots, get them tacked to the frame and fix that gap as best I can. Um, whatever weld doesn't cover, we're gonna caulk, but I'm gonna get a good weld on the inside of this corner and we should be good there. And once I get this tacked down, then we'll throw our third piece on and this side will be done. Oh, and I gotta get the back here too, but I'm gonna make sure this get squared up before we go any farther it's all weld on the inside here and get out of the snow okay I got a little carried away sorry about that I have the side piece the front piece and the other side piece put in so this side of the cabinet is closed off let me get a shot on the inside here there we go closed off you can't see that for other side piece. But, um, I'm not going to have enough time to get the other side done today besides the fact it's stupid cold. Um, got other stuff going on. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take our piece that goes right here and get that notched out for the wires and get that put on and get the top piece put on. That's my priority. And uh, I mean, we'll see if I get enough time. We'll get the other side put together, but this right now is my next step. Okay, another quick update. I think I already showed you that. That's all welded in, done, ready to prime. This piece, I got this edge to weld up, and it's good to go. I put the upright piece in, got it all welded across. It is good to go. Got a lot of slag to clean up here for to prime it all, but before I go in today, I got a little sunshine, so that's pretty cool. Uh, before I go in, we'll have this all primered in it. And uh, I don't, I, I know there's uh, there's light in between these seams here. Um, I'm not gonna weld this all the way across. I'm gonna go on the inside and I'm gonna caulk the inside. And between the caulk and the paint, um, you won't even notice. So let's move on. All right, let's do a quick update. We have that side put together, primed. We have this part put together and at least primed. It's a little spot that I messed up there. We're gonna take care of that. Got everything welded. Let's get around the other side, see how it looks. I am pretty happy with it so far. I think this summer sometime, I'm, get a, I'm gonna get a piece of two and a half inch angle and cover this. I think there's like a two by two and a half. I think that's a thing. But I'm gonna get a piece and run that up and down here like I did here just for some trim. <clears throat> Maybe I'll do that before this summer. I don't know, we'll see how much time I have. And there's a little spot up here that needs a little bit more paintbrush to get in there. Uh, one thing I learned, and here's a, here's a note I'm gonna try not ever do again. Don't booger up a weld in a corner. I, <clears throat> I'm sure there's a way to get in there and clean that, but or grind that down, but. I didn't figure it out, so it's gonna be a booger until I figure out otherwise. 
and here's the look from the inside this hole and this piece actually I might grind that down a little bit when it comes time for the doors well maybe not um, I'm gonna leave this because the door is actually gonna close to here so unless I get froggy when I'm cutting out my little plugs for a couple spots on the frame here I'm just gonna leave it the way it is uh, and that's where we are for this morning I guess it's almost afternoon now I worked last night so <clears throat> it's morning for me uh, we're gonna get on these three pieces right here I got one here and the other two over on the bench then I'm gonna take this two by five uh, that's leaned up over next to Sheena's helmet there I'm gonna cut that to length and I'm gonna make that the center section that goes in, on the door side of the, the back side of the cabinet here so I'm gonna put a center post in there and it's gonna be for the doors but I'll explain that as I go because I'm still kind of figuring out my head um, so let's get to work all right a quick update we've got our three pieces almost done welding in I gotta get the front of that the top of all of this the bottom side of that um, Christopher was working on welding some stuff in here so we'll have to work on that some more um, and then we got our center section put in and this is where the two doors are gonna fold down on either side and we'll use that center section for a latch and whatnot so but the snow is not letting up so we are gonna call her a day and be back with you in a minute all right, we're back out and the sun is shining. Um, actually, I've been out here for a minute. I've got everything welded for the three pieces here. Welded and grinded out. Um, I left Christopher's artwork here. Something to remember. Now I'm gonna go through and wire brush every weld and go get the primer. This is going to be a later thing. I think I got a piece of angle that's going to handle that. I think I'm going to tie that into the trim up here. So I think for our first trip, she's going to just have a couple open holes. That one I think I should take care of before we go. But everything else is done on the outside here. Uh, next step is the back cabinet doors. And oh, something else. But I'll show you that in a minute. All right, we've got everything primered, and I redid the floor again here. I tell you what, by the time I'm done, I'm gonna have like 18 coats of primer on the floor in here, but that's okay because we're gonna be dragging stuff across it all the time. And then, let's see, primer's done. Basically, I could say three out of four walls, but the cabinet is done. Um, we're still in kind of a brainstorming on the back doors here I'm kind of leaning towards uh, a non-hinged door something just locks in locks in place kind of comes in and well like that and locks in place I don't know um, the side that as we go here so while the primer dries and uh, it's supposed to snow tonight so I gotta move the trailer so I can get at my snow plow tomorrow uh, I'm in here working forgot how much I enjoy just doing little things I am building battery trays at least the bottom of it I'm uh, gonna do one more of these and then work on a we're gonna weld them together with a little spacer to clear this and then work on a bolt system um, probably won't get to all that today but there's always tomorrow because I got a nice heated garage I will have the battery tray done before I put it in the trailer so uh, once I park the trailer, it's probably going to sit for a few days. And I'll get the battery tray done. I'm going to go get the board to start putting the circuits on and running the wires across that plywood. But we'll uh, get on with that in a minute here. All right, just a quick update. I've got my side bolts bolted on. Oh, it's a little warm. Got our top plate. Uh, the wing nuts are on upside down just so I could hold everything in place while I was welding. So, I know we're over halfway done anyways. I'll keep trucking on here. All right, I probably skipped ahead 
a little bit too much for some people, but it's done. We have on the ends our tabs to uh, bolt or weld it down. Not sure 100% what I'm going to do yet. I think I might just run a bolt, but we'll figure out when we get there. I got spacers in between to take up the get or the uh, hangover from the batteries. And everything is ground down and cleaned up and ready for paint. I won't bore you with that part. I'm just going to hang it from one of the rails here. Give her a good coat of paint. That's all we can do. And we'll move on. All right, all you cool cats and kittens. We are going to shift our focus right now. We're going to clean some snow off the top of the trailer because we have a nice sunny day. And I have this thing where if it's a nice sunny day, we need to be out working. So, battery tray is all put together. Um, other wing nuts obviously go on top, but just kind of holding everything in place for now. I think I've decided I'm going to drill through these tabs and drill through the floor of the cabinet when uh, we decide to put the batteries in, which is coming up soon. But for now, we're going to work with wood. Not my forte, but I think doing the deck of a trailer shouldn't be that difficult. So these are the deck boards. Uh, we got two by six by eights. Uh, we're just going to do the top deck for now. I'm going to leave it hooked to the truck because I'm not welding. And this is this section of it is going to go in that channel on the top and then the rest of it we're going to cut into a piece to go sorry about the sunlight in the front side of the cabin or cab, cabin cabinet here it's going to go right along that front i think i'm going to bolt it into obviously we can't weld it um and that's what we're going to screw our circuit breakers and relays and all that stuff to uh, once we get everything kind of put together inside it's something that's all going to have to happen at once so today i want to do something that we could leave for another day if we run out of time but i'm pretty sure we can get this all done uh, in one sitting here so let's get moving all right i got my biggest helper out here and i hope you can see we've got deck boards cut and laid down um, we are going to get them spaced out this side we don't have to space out the other side it, our measurements i'm not sure how that turned out but we're gonna have to space them out make them even and we're going to get a row of screws down right here, down the center section in the middle. And then we're going to go from there. I'm thinking at worst we'll have two rows, a row here and a row here. So let's uh, get at her. All right. After burning up two battery drills, buying a corded drill, breaking five drill bits, and spacing out boards, uh, We've got her done, or at least screwed down. Careful, kid. Um, the center section is open. We're going to cut a, a strip of that uh, plywood in there. I think I already explained that and run that all the way to the back. And then uh, we're going to put trim over top of it. But that's for all the cables that are going to run to the winch in the front. Um, you'll see the back is uneven, the two boards, and then it bumps up. Well, that's where I put that top piece of steel that encloses the cabinet. Um, Unless we get on there with a sander, which I don't really feel like doing. That's just the way it's going to stay. Um, not a big deal. Front's looking good. I'm going to put a piece of flat steel in there just to lock everything down. Let's move on with the next step here. All right, we're back to work. Let me catch you up on what's happened so far this morning. It's on there. Yeah, that's the winch. I'm excited. What we've got is the flat bar welded across the front flat bar welded across the back i did have to sand those boards down to make it flat especially where the e-track is going to go but it wasn't a big deal so now the top deck is more than secured ready for ready for a machine i cut a strip that strip that i talked about that's good to go and i went to put the winch on and here's where we ran into a problem Notice by the extra pin sitting here, this is not how I planned it to go. But we improvise and adapt and overcome. That's what we do here. Pretty self explanatory. Uh, the, hit, the winch will still move, and I've disconnected it and reconnected it, so we don't have that problem as much as I was afraid of that was going to happen. Uh, I did my best to get it all lined up. Um, that's two passes, plus I got inside the hole here for what was left hanging over the hitch that's kind of still warm so uh, 
I have 100% confidence in what's sitting here. That should not be a problem. Um, just a little minor inconvenience. But, let's move on. All right, let's catch up from where we left off here. We got Laura come out. Laura and Sheena, they were priming all the steel we got, fresh steel, all the bare steel. And I have been working on my electrical. Got the battery charger in here, charging my battery system, but we've got a shut off and a 500 amp fuse in line to the winch line. We've got our wireless winch set up, screwed to the wall. And you can see way over there on the left is our fuse block uh, with nothing in it but it is the bridge now it's the connector that seven way plug is now connected to the batteries so our breakaway switch will work and that's what we're going to run our leds and all their circuits off of but since they're not here there's nothing in there so um, let's move on There we are. Today's project is done. The winch is installed, it works. We are replacing that steel cable with the uh, synthetic rope. Uh, but for now, I am excited. All we need is a bottom deck now and we can roll down the road. Thank you for watching this video. We appreciate your support. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please consider doing that. Um, we are almost done with this project. I think we got one more video to go. Maybe two, depending on how long it takes. But this has been an amazing run. I know we've picked up some new subscribers on the way. So thank you guys for coming along for the ride. We appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video.